Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. It's coffee time, and it's Southern Sunday lunchtime, too. Mom and I are just getting ready to get started here, and I ain't done a thing today. I'm just going to move Mama's assistant. Oh, no. We were going to do lasagna. I've been thinking about lasagna and salad, and so Mama says, I got these onions, and I got this stuff, and we can fix meatloaf right quick. And we're running like, I said, Mama, meatloaf is never a no for me. So I always say yes. One of my favorites, and you can see my patience is starting with Alice. So I'm let's, just crumbling that bread. <laughs> let's get over here and see what she's up to with some good old meat loaf. Now, this one's a little different than the one we did the other night. We're just going to do ketchup on it, we're not doing any Creole, and we're not putting any of the other seasoning in it. I'm going to use this handy dandy meat loaf packet. We're going to try it. We've tried it, it's pretty good. Uh -huh. And I'm doing is just breaking up two slices of bread. I use crackers, oatmeal, or bread. My mommy always used bread, so I'm using bread. I'm looking at you to talk. Can <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I showed you, mommy. I'm going to let you talk. This is you today. Oh. I think I'll just be your cameraman from now and let you do all the cooking and the talking. No, we wouldn't have much talking. Because you know when I get busy, I don't talk. I just do my job and that's it. Do your job and that's it. Yeah. I thought I went all around that can. I think I got distracted. Did I miss you? I can't nope. I just liked about a half inch. Yeah. We're having peas, of course. That's our usual meatloaf. You want this open, Mama? Tomato sauce? Yeah, I'm going to put some in it and I'll put it in some ketchup. You got something in the mac oh the refrigerator. The microwave says end. Well, I don't know, Mama. Oh, it's my meat. That was something. <laughs> well, just the meat. Nothing important. Just, just the, the just main, the chuck. Just the main. <laughs> just the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are y'all having one of those days? <laughs> good to do what I can. Now I'm putting two eggs in here. That is one of them. That is. You're putting two whole eggs in there? Yeah. We're going to have ribeyes for that price. Oh, two eggs. Oh, break Mama, it. those are gold. Won't break it up. I don't know. Down anyway. I need some sauce poured in here. Alright, so here is just tomato sauce. This is a 15 ounce can. I'm going to put about mm -hmm. half of it. That's good. Get my bread off. While she's got the sauce in there, we're going to put this packet of meatloaf seasoning. You can get this from McCormick. You can get it. We've, I've got a big old jug of it up there. McCormick. This is some from our store from Save a Lot. It's just a meatloaf seasoning. And I'll tell you mm -hmm. what's in here. Smells good. This is, um, let's see the ingredients is up here. It's got some onion salt, some um, spices, <laughs> including paprika, hydrogenated soy protein, flour, yeast extract, just a whole bunch of stuff. But anyhow, that's what that's for. Looks good, Mama. You want me to peel potatoes? You can peel potatoes. You, uh, you haven't started now. Usually that's one thing you start early. I know it. I, this was better than, my fingers are in there. So. Well, I wasn't going to peel your fingers. They was kind of in the plastic behind the <laughs> I wasn't going to peel your fingers, Mama. You was taking them with you, though. What's these potatoes over here? That's just three. There are two bigger ones that I was going to save. Oh, you don't want me to know them? No. Was you hiding them from me? Uh-huh. Well, these onions are going to be chopped up in. This is from last night. Y'all told you I made these onions tomorrow. There they are. That's all I'm going to put in there. So you're going to save these two for bacon? Yeah, the two pieces. Oh, well, I'll put them over here, but I'm going to use this bag and get rid of it. And I'll be putting these potatoes in the potato bin. 
And I'll use this bag for these pills. Okay. I'll check how I'm going to do. This is all I'm going to do. And I'm going to use the micro pro to get done in a hurry. You can always get done in a hurry in the micro pro, can't you? You left them all. Uh, you left them. I know what I can get rid of this if I had got on my hand. If you'll get the spray down the bottom. Spray my finger, I'll have you ready. Spray your what? My microphone grill. Should I spray a little bit on there? You can, or just use some of that right there. That just the avocado will be fine. See, you know, so John, Mama runs around all the time, you just sit there. If I don't sit here, you can, that she'll lead you by yourself. Now, won't you know? That's right, and I do. I don't have long arms. I have to get up and. Uh, I have to get up and throw my chest. I think it's funny. People, they think you're just going to stand there. They don't know how you like to buzz around like a bee. When you cook, you got to move. Mama's not a um, stationary type of individual. No, I'm not. If you're outside working with mama, it's kind of like working, dealing with a toddler. You know how a toddler, you take your eyes out for one second, and they're gone. That's why mama, when you're outside working, you'll say, mama, mom, mom, where'd she go? <laughs> if I don't say that 12 times when we're outside, I don't say it once. Because she's gone. She'll be down in the basement, she'll be down at the barn looking around. When you're working... And you've got to do stuff. You got so you know you're back. You've got to move and do. I was over there on the side. There wasn't nothing showing. <laughs> I know. We need a wide angle camera. We need a camera person. Oh, we'll just have to do the We just have to do it the way we did it. Yes, we can. And ain't nobody going to put up with us, Mama. No, I sure wouldn't. Not long, anyway. Well, I know that you people are too crazy here. We, we ain't putting up with you. That's right. Well, you mean you ain't going to do that. You used to start out fixing meatloaf. Now you have switched. Shh, mercy. We can't fool with you all. They would uh, go crazy. <laughs> They'll have a stand still. Don't move. Don't do this. That's right. Maybe where's she I'd going? be the one that goes crazy. That'd be her mama. Where, where, where's she at? She moved again. No, no, no. She ain't gone. I'm right here. I'm not going no far. <laughs> <laughs> not far anyway. This is just the everyday thing here. We don't do nothing no different when y'all here when you're not. So, if you wonder, wonder what they did when they're not filming. This is the same thing. Yeah, I'm just going to dump this right in this micro program. Turn over there where you can see. Oh, wow. They probably don't want to look at me. You look pretty today, Mama, and you're blue. You're looking almost springy. Well, Do you know this time next week it's going to already be March? I know it. Are you ready for such? Yeah, I'm ready for spring. You've been getting ready all I'm week. I'm working outside trying to get ready for it. I need to flip the mulch this week. Get more mulch. Yeah. I got more bushes to trim them. I got to trim my pompous grass. Oh, the pompous grass. We used to have a bunch of that stuff. It took a day's work just to trim the pods of grass. Now we're down to what, two pods? Mm -hmm. We had a bulldozer here for another reason. And I said, hey, go around there and get all that grass and move it. Oh, your grass, yes. I started more. Mom, look where you're looking at the camera. Oh. Look. <laughs> Sorry about 
there. There's a reason we do the things we do. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at her. I had my mind on my meatloaf. I told you I can't do that. I'm going to put it in here and bake it and pour it off the grease before I put my sauce or my ketchup on top. That uh, spice has made my meat brown looking. It's a meatloaf, Mama. I know it, but I like for it to be reddish pink inside. Well, what? That's the reason I put tomato sauce. There we go. Voila! Ready for... I got to get my hand on some of y'all have never seen us do this, believe it or not, probably. And you're going to say, are they fixing meatloaf in a microwave? Yes, we are. And our, this is the microprocrio from Tupperware. And we use it a lot because it saves so much time. Now that meatloaf would take us an hour, hour and ten minutes in the oven. We're going to do it in about twenty today in the macro grill in the microwave and it cooks from the top and the bottom at the same time the meat is not tough or nothing it's wonderful if you don't believe me you're not going to believe me so you'll just have to try it but it's wonderful mama how much potatoes you want you know we have uh, leftover kfc potatoes in there listen That's to me about enough, I guess. Listen to me trying to take shortcuts. I'm going to make a few extra, and I'll tell you why. You know, I told you all that little thing I saw on the on the Facebook the other night. I'm going to try those. They look so good. I'm going to try them. So I thought, hmm, while I'm making mashed potatoes, I'll make a few extra so we'll have enough. To one night this week, I'll try to show you those little potato bite things they made. Now, I make potato bites where we I make them kind of just like you would uh, potato cakes. But this is something totally different, and I liked it. And I thought, hmm, I don't know if it'll work out or not. I don't know how it'll turn out, but it'll be something for us to try. But what if it's good? That's what I always think. It may not turn out good, but what if it does? What if it's the best little thing you ever tasted, and you're like, wow, that's good. You know, there's things right now that you make in your family every time you get a chance, and your family requests it. Mama? Of what? Uh, oh, Mama's out here digging. I thought she was playing in her toy box. I had a toy box. I play in it. You know, there's stuff you make right now for your family. Every chance you get, they request it. It's a family favorite. Well, how did that become? How did you get that family favorite? Somebody in your family at some point tried it, liked it, passed it on, and now it's a tradition. So when you're trying new things, you may be making new traditions. So don't be afraid to try those new things. Don't be afraid to think, oh, that looks too hard. Try them. You might just love them. And if you love them, you can make them all the time. And your family will be saying, make some more of that. There's lots of things that we've made over time that we just tried, and then all of a sudden, it becomes something good. There have been times when I made a mistake in a recipe and we loved it. And now the mistake became the way to do it. So don't be afraid to cook in your own kitchen. Remember, your kitchen is yours. Your rules are yours. We all have rules for recipes. But don't, I mean, bacon is a little different. You can't, you gotta kinda do what bacon tells you to. I guess that's the reason I don't like to bake as much. But I would do wanna try some, some breads. I've been looking at breads online, easy recipes, three ingredient recipes, no kneading recipes, and they look simple, but I bet you I can make them complicated. But I am going to try some fresh bread because I love good bread, and we don't really have a place around here to buy fresh bread. I didn't put my ketchup in there, but I'll sit down and talk to are you talking to us or are you talking to yourself? I'm talking to myself. That's Don't enough let us potatoes, in our... Johnny. I'm making extra, Mama. Are you paying me? That's enough, even with extra. Mama says that's enough. She don't want me to have potatoes. She's begrudging the few potatoes that we're using. Mama, Way don't you want us to have not. potatoes? Way small Do you not want us to have nice things, Mama? <laughs> I'm going to beat you up. Mama don't want me to have these potatoes. You all heard her. 
that's enough. She's so bossy. I've got a little kettle. I've got the kettle right here. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Come on, Mama. Come on, friend, talk to him while I'm building the tapes. I'm on KP duty. Some of y'all get. Add some meditators. This will be the last one, Mama. If you don't want me to have no more, I'll put them up. I don't want you to have no more. You're wasting. Mama don't want us to have no things, folks. I was going to fix you some potatoes. Anyhow. These new little things I'm going to try, I think they'll be just delicious. You want to you pour this water out. Mm -hmm. I'll take these potatoes in there and put them in the bin. Here's your two big ones that are trying to hide from me. Woo, she started out trying to hide potatoes from me. Then, she turns around and don't want me to find have any of the others she was going to give me. Ain't that awful? Anyhow, the new little things I want to try. I got something rattling in my pocket. It's a key. I no wonder it's rattling. The new little things I want to try. You gonna put no more water in this, Mama? I will when you get them Just get all over you. Oh, she's only thinking of us. Now that ain't too many potatoes for nothing. Oh, that's quite a Look, that's just a. That ain't even a good mess, as my granny would say. Four of them would have been a mess for us. I'm making for tomorrow, Mama. Preparing. This is called prep. This is prep for tomorrow, Mama. It is. She ain't gonna let me even tell you about them. She keeps fussing. Anyhow, they're little potato bites and they have cheese in them. Yeah. And I'm thinking anything that's a good fried potato that's browned and has cheese in it. Now that sounds good to me. And they're just kind of little potato bites. And I thought those look simple enough. Isn't it amazing how Facebook has not only brought shows to you like this, but those little quick 30 or one minute things. They have all kinds of great little recipes on those that you can try and you think, hmm, that gives me an idea. I like that. So, do you all look at those and, and try to get you some ideas sometimes? Just for something different for you and the fam? I know I do. And I'm all the time seeing stuff and thinking, that'd be good to show everybody. And if it works out good. That's where I found the three ingredient uh, cho uh, chocolate. Three ingredient peanut butter cookies and those lemon cookies we made. Those lemon cookies was the great little things. The peanut butter was good too though. I like all that. And I'm just going to dice these up for mashing. And as Mama will point out later, I'm sure this is too many for us today. But I'm going to use the leftover mashed potatoes tomorrow, maybe, or another day, someday this week. Before the mashed potatoes get bad, I'll try my best to see what we can do about making those little cheese bites. And that's something your kids would like. Now you can, you don't have to use leftover mashed potatoes. You can make them fresh off the. Now what I'm gonna do is great big grocery bags and put them in the fridge. Okay. Open it up for. Bread and okra, great value. Pies in my fingers <laughs> We couldn't see through the window, Mama. You had to open the curtains. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be dinner today. That's dinner today. Peas and okra. And Mama, I just had a brainstorm. We got a half can of corn in there. Put a little butter in that, we can have more sides. More sides than we ever had. 
We're not doing any rows or anything today. I'm going to get this started while you're cutting potatoes. Oh, you're cutting them tiny. You don't approve the way I'm cutting potatoes either, Mama? Well, they'll cook fast, though. I was worried about them getting done. She's so street. You cut them however you want to. I'm just cutting them up today. A lot of times I just slice them. Do y'all just slice yours? It's something about the surface area. Less surface area, the starch here. Huh? It's the less surface area, the starchier they are? Less starchy. Less starchy. Well. Now that I've started on this surface area, I gotta continue. Yeah, we gotta have all You gotta have all the same so they're cooked together. But it don't hurt. It don't hurt. It's all good at the end. You're just chopping up potatoes. Or boiling. Or boiling. Is this how y'all do yours? Mama holds hers in her hand. I have done that way before, but mercy. Seems like it takes me longer. And then I've got potatoes sliding all over the place because they're wet where I've washed them. And I never can quite get them just right. What are y'all cooking today? Hello, John and Mama from Dillon, South Carolina. Hello, Jim. Hey, Nancy. Joe, how are you? It's rainy here today. It, it's been, you know, a washout weekend, kind of, but that's okay. We ain't complaining. Um, enjoyed yesterday. Done nothing. Nothing. I'm talking about a total day of just relaxation. Didn't cut nothing, no bushes. Didn't, went out in the yard with Maggie, but it didn't cut and carry on like I planned on. Because it was just raining. And it was just a few minutes it didn't rain, so I ran out with her because I knew she. Most of the time I let her ask to go out, but on a rainy day, I have to be ever vigilant. And when it quits raining or there's not rain, take her out and make sure she's getting her opportunity outside. Because she'll ask to go out, then she'll see it's raining, and she don't want to go no more. And she'll hightail it right back in the house without doing anything and act like she's good. Good to go. I don't need to go. Yeah, you need to go, or you and I. So now you're going to have to go out and run. Why don't I take her out with an umbrella? She loses her mind. I don't know if just the umbrella scares her. I don't know if she's been hurt with an umbrella. She will not let you go out with an umbrella. She won't let you have one either. He so he thinks he thinks somebody might have hurt her. She don't like an umbrella at all. You would think a dog who didn't like the rain would love an umbrella. No. No rain, no umbrella. Don't mind a, a sweater, though. But she don't want no rain and no umbrella either one. And she don't want you to have one. She wants you to be out there and get wet, too. I mean, I do it. Don't get me wrong. She, she gets her wet. We don't raise an umbrella around her. I did when we first got her. And it's oh, I did. And it was I've never seen her after like that. It was awful. It's like a... She, just, she hates them. It's more than just a fear. She don't like storms. She don't like loud noises. She don't like umbrellas. So today... It's one of my favorites, meatloaf, peas, mashed potatoes, okra, mama, we don't usually have okra, and we're going to have a little dash of corn because it's in there. That dip last night was so good, and uh, that corn just added a lot to it, and we really enjoyed that. Mama and I, after we got our here, mama said, this was a good supper. I said, yeah, we'll have to, we have that occasionally, like if we're going to have 
chips and dip, but last night this seemed extra good, didn't it, Mama? Yeah, I was maybe extra hungry. Mama said she was extra hungry, ain't that good? I was thinking that we didn't have no lunch yesterday, is what it was. We didn't have lunch, did we? No. No, because we had, well, we didn't have a late breakfast either. See, a lot of times on Saturday, I get up, I have coffee, I may have a bagel or something at 5 o'clock in the morning. Mama might come to at 11 and say, do you want something to eat? And sometimes she'll do a brunch, and we eat late, and then we don't eat lunch, then we'll eat something with you all. Yesterday, she got up early, she fixed breakfast, and uh, then we didn't eat lunch, and then we ate last night, and that, we, just, we didn't get all this coming to us yesterday, Mama. We only got two meals yesterday. Oh. I'm making a turkey that I have frozen. It's oh. raining here in East. Freetown, Missouri. Is that where you're at? Massachusetts. Stephen. So you're making a turkey. Ooh. Are you doing turkey and all the trimming, Stephen? Or are you just having a turkey? Mama, where are you going? Thanks. She just told my potatoes. She just left for my potatoes. She's like that. You gotta watch her. She's like, it's time to put the potatoes on. I'm taking them whether you're done or not. Okay. Let's get the rest of these done. You having turkey and all the trimmings, or you just having turkey, like open face sandwiches? Sometimes we'll fix a turkey breast, and we'll just have light bread and mashed potatoes with some good turkey gravy and cranberry sauce, and we will call that supper and uh, have open face turkey sandwiches. It's delicious. Sometimes we'll fix all the fixings. Mama, there's the rest of your potatoes, ma'am. You don't need that knife, but I'm going to lay it over anyway. Any more chores for me, Mama? I think we've got Because I ain't done another thing. Don't ask me to turn my hand. My granny used to say I wouldn't turn my hand for the difference. Y'all ever heard that I was saying? That meant... Like say, let me give you an example. Like say she found a generic product at the store that tasted really good or almost as good as the main brand. And you would say, did you like it, Granny? And she said, I wouldn't turn my hand for the difference. Meaning, as simple as that is, I wouldn't do it for the difference in it. And so that's an old saying. I wouldn't turn my hand for the difference. Glad for my... Food chopper saves all the cutting. Time. Yes, Janice. I like a good food chopper. And we've got several. We've got some of those that you smack the tops and it goes through to the bottom. Those are easy, but sometimes we just do it the old fashioned way too. I guess it's because we've done it that way for years. Mama used to be real serious about not trying to do anything new. Now look at that, folks. She put that in when you. 15 minutes. 15 minutes ago. What's that been 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. Have I been cutting up potatoes for 15 minutes? I choose not to rush <laughs> Oh, sorry. Uh, I guess I was. So that's 15 minute meatloaf. And it's got this uh, little bit where the chuck is coming around here. She's going to drain that off, put it back in there for about five minutes. And we're going to have meatloaf in 20 minutes. Somebody says, oh, it don't brown. Well, there you see it does. That is meatloaf. And when she gets through with it, it's going to have ketchup on top. So, just while we were talking, while I was filling with potatoes, she baked the meatloaf. That's why we use that thing. Oh, that meat is so rubbery and awful. No, it's not. It's delicious. You'll never know it came out of that micro -pro grill. Uh, and to clean that, no pan to clean. Just the micro -pro grill to wipe it out. Very easy. Comes right off with one little wipe. We do put it in the wash in the dish machine there or in the in the dish water. But it wipes right off. Uh, it saves time. It saves time. That's the reason I say it of all the things that Mama sells in Tupperware, that one is expensive. Don't ask me the price because they I don't remember it. I don't remember it. But anyway, I would buy it again if we didn't have one because it saves time and you're buying time and time is you gonna bring it back and show them before you put the ketchup on? Yeah, I'm just getting the, the excess green dots. 
tighten the drain, draining that stuff off. You know how to have a little bit. Learn from my food shop. I stopped y'all. What are y'all saying? We are having enchilada Stacy Carpenter. I don't have a great enchilada recipe. I have seen some on um, the Facebook. So if y'all have a good enchilada recipe, you can share it with all of us. Hey, Donna, how are you? Why am I freezing y'all up? I'm having meatloaf too, Joanne. Isn't it good? Hi, John and Mama. You inspire me. I made pork roast very good. Mary, and it is good. Did you make the Mississippi version? Now, Mama don't like the peppercinis, peppercinis, the green peppers, as much. So I put about four or five in there. But she likes them that good. She'll let me put four or five. But a lot of people put juice in it and everything make it really spicy. But no, I'm okay with four or five. Uh, I don't want it so hot either. The last I made, I left the peppers in it. And I ate it the next day and it was getting hot. Them peppers had really marinated in it overnight. And, uh, but it was good. You know, I like a little heat. So it was good. And I had it on the sandwich. Now let's look at this meatloaf. Mama drained it good. Got all that all from it. Let me get the thermometer and I'm gonna temp it just to show y'all that this is done. Mama's got that okra going. So let's see what temp it is. In it goes. 200, 22, 23. What temperature would you be looking for, Mama? At least 165. 165, where I rate 257. Right. 205.7. You got it in the center in the middle. I mean, yes, ma'am. And there's two, four. That meatloaf is done, folks, in 15 minutes. Now, I promise you, if you put a cold meatloaf, which that was a cold meatloaf. It was yet frozen. It was, the meatloaf was frozen when we started this video. Mama, the microwave went off. Y'all heard it. It would take an hour for a meatloaf that size to uh, be done. And if it was frozen, it might take an hour and 10 or 15 minutes. So, that's what you're talking about is saving time. Now, I'm going to pour this tomato sauce. This Sometimes we do Creole sauce over it. Tonight, to today, it's not night time yet, John. Uh, I'm just going to put a good smattering of this wonderful tomato sauce over it. Just like that. Now, this is straight out of the can, so you know there's nothing in this. Get down those sides. Just like that. Now, for the flavor, for the flavor, here comes some kitchen. So I'm just going to go crisscross back and forth, just like this. And go this side, just like this. Now somebody's going to say, John, you put too much ketchup on there, you put too much tomato sauce. We don't like that. We do. We like the good sauce. You, can put that on you put it on the other way. You put it on that way. So you put it on there until it stays above it, yet it stays firm. So it puts the heat in there. That's the way you do a ketchup covered meatloaf. We've been ketchup covered meatloafs my whole life. Like my meatloaf plain, I like to taste the meatloaf. Mary Ann, I got a, a aunt that likes it that way too, and hers is good. I got one aunt that squirts a little bit on, and I've got a mama who puts plenty on there. We like it marinated in it. We like it even the little disc made, the little patties, and this let it cook in the meat sauce, in the tomato sauce. But thank goodness we can all have it our way. Ketchup yummy, Sherry says. We had million dollar spaghetti in Texas. Travis, what's million dollar spaghetti? Does anybody know? That looks good. Hate dry meatloaf. I don't like dry meatloaf either, Kendra. And I tell you what I like best. 
Today, it wouldn't bother me if it didn't have much on it. Tomorrow, I want it smothered in it. Because when you leave the leftover meatloaf, it dries when you put it in the refrigerator. I like it to have plenty on it for the following day. Mary says, plain meatloaf. Uh, looks yummy. What time supper like that line? Well, actually, it's going to be in about five minutes. It's lunch, Sunday, Southern Sunday lunch. We're going to have it in about five minutes. Now, y'all be with us from start to finish. Y'all were here when that meat was still frozen in the microwave. You heard it ding, ding, ding. If if have to mix it, I prefer gravy instead of red sauce. Tina, I could eat with you too because I love brown gravy meatloaf with mushrooms. Love it that way. There's not a whole lot of ways I don't like it. Uh, I even had meatloaf one time with um, brown gravy. Mom, your potatoes are rolling over. Brown gravy and uh, Swiss cheese. Meatloaf with Swiss cheese and brown gravy and mushrooms. It was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. John and Mama, delicious meatloaf. Two pounds hamburger. Uh, that wasn't two pounds, was it, Mama? Or was it? A pound and a half. Pound and a half. I also like honey on mine. Preston. Now that would be something for us to explore. Have you ever put honey on it, Mama? No. Preston, what do you do? Under that is that Creole with brown sugar. Creole and brown sugar. What do you do, Preston? Just pour honey over at the end or you put honey in it? Hey, y'all. Hey, uh, Belinda. Been missing seeing you. We've been here every day, I reckon, Belinda. If you're not getting this, go to our page, like us, follow us. Sometimes, now, last night, my uh, system done an update. So, I'm going to have to go back and check make sure I'm following everybody. When your system does an update, sometimes if you've not liked, commented, done a little thumbs up or anything, it'll say, well, they must not like this show anymore, and they'll take it out of your algorithm. So, check and make sure you're still following us, even though you think, I've always followed y'all. Sometimes you're not. So, just go and check. Go to Coffee Time with John and Mama. We have over 160,000 of you all on there. So, don't like or follow any pages that don't have at least 160,000 folks. Because those are duplicates and people trying to share our content uh, for their own. I have heard that there's a way we can get around some of that now. I'm going to look into it more and see. Um, but I'm going to check into it. But up until now, there's not been much you could do about it. They just said, well, it's their page. You know, even though they were sharing our image and our stuff, uh, they what much they would do about it. <clears throat> hey, John and Mama from Ontario, Canada. Hey, Bonnie. Bonnie, you've been with us a long time. I remember seeing your name a year or two ago. And since then. I think I'm going to make meatloaf now. Teresa, it's good. You can always... Meatloaf is sort of our safety net of starvation. It's like, what are we going to eat? I don't know. What do you want? I don't know. You want me to fix the meatloaf? That sounds good to me, Mama. That's how conversations go around here a lot of times. Now, today's conversation was... I'm still wanting lasagna, and I'm wanting salad and lasagna, and Mama will come up with that. But it was late start today. We had extra stuff going on at church today. We had a wonderful singing. Uh, it was a good spirit-filled service, and uh, we had a little extra stuff going on. So we got home a little later, and Mama had the meat ready for lasagna or meatloaf. She said, do you want me to do lasagna? It'll take a while. Or do you want me just to put a meatloaf? I said, you do what you want to do. She said, let's do a meatloaf. I said, yes, ma'am. I'm all for that 100%. Because Mama's meatloaf is delicious. And I've never... Have I ever turned down meatloaf, Mama? No. Never. <laughs> that would be totally unsouthered. I love Mama's meatloaf. Mama, we got y'all sweet tea? Yeah. We're gonna have we're gonna have y'all sweet tea. We're gonna have um, meatloaf. We're having all kinds of stuff today. It's like somebody's birthday. Mama's making noises. It's like somebody. Now look here. See, show her, Mama. Show her, Mama. Show her, Mama. Show her, Mama. Show her. See, it didn't get on that lid. It just kind of cooked it good. Look at that bubbling. Can y'all see it? No, John, I can't because you won't look pulling it down. Look how beautiful. See how it's bubbling. And that's just perfectly 
on there. Beautiful, beautiful meatloaf. And it's done. It was done before she put it in there for the ketchup to get hot and the tomato sauce. Um, I, I like ketchup on my meatloaf. I would start to turn something dark. Yeah, uh, Mary, it does turn dark. It turns dark whenever, if you don't have some kind of sauce on it. I love Creole sauce on it. But meatloaf, remember I told y'all, if you got kids or your husband or your wife, somebody tells you, I don't like meatloaf. Now, unless they're just opposed to hamburger meat, then they have not had the right meatloaf. Because meatloaf is one of those things that you can just make it however you want to. There is nothing off limits. You can take a pound of hamburger meat, put a jar of your favorite salsa in it, put a tube of, or half a tube of saltine crackers and one egg, and make a delicious meatloaf. If they like salsa and hamburger, why would they not like that meatloaf? You can put taco seasoning in it and make a taco flavored meatloaf. You can put Italian seasoning in it and make an Italian season flavored meatloaf. Maybe they like meatballs. Make a big meatball meatloaf. Put Italian seasons in it. Put your tomato sauce on it. It's delicious. If they don't like ketchup, put brown gravy on it. Put, uh, put mushroom gravy on it. You just ain't had the right meatloaf if you don't like meatloaf. Unless you're just opposed to meat or you just don't like hamburger meat. Because though it's up to you whatever you want to put in it to make it delicious. Uh, Mama uses that packet sometimes. Sometimes she don't. Sometimes she just throws her own ingredients in there and makes a meatloaf. Sometimes we put different flavors, different seasonings in it and make a meatloaf. Uh, so you can have meatloaf every week and never have the same meatloaf for several weeks. So you do whatever you like and make a good meatloaf. Give me a match that, Mama. I said I wasn't going to do nothing else, but I guess I could. It's always been my job to mash potatoes. I can't even for how long? You done got them done. Huh? I got the oh, you done? What'd you put in here? Butter? Butter and uh, pepper. Oh, Mama, this is a lot of mashed potatoes. A lot. If you just joined us, Mama just got on to me for making too many mashed potatoes. Peel and Timmy mashed peel and Timmy potatoes for mashed potatoes. Well, I've got there's a plan to this chaos. We won't eat all these. We won't eat a helping of them each. Is what we'll eat. But I got plans this week with you all to make something else out of them, and I can't wait to try it. And we're going to try it together. We'll see what we think. If we hate it, we hate it. If we love it, we love it. So we'll know this week when we try it. Potato bites with cheese in them. And mine has some cheese on it. And we may put some more seasonings in them. Because when I seen it, it opened up all kinds of ideas of what we could fix. So, I'm excited about it. Mama, um, you put salt and pepper? I cooked them in salt and I put pepper and butter. But, they might need more salt, I don't know. We'll just have to home and get them on our plate. Potatoes are like rolls or uh, biscuits. You don't want to overwork them. You don't want to release all those starches because then they get waxy or they get gluey. So I just stir them in gently, mash most of the lumps out. I don't care to run into a lump every now and then, but if they're cooked good, you won't have any lumps. They'll be good and smooth. You just don't, I don't like to whip them. Now a lot of people like whipped potatoes. That's not the way I like them. Right there, they're done. I'm just gonna leave them in that's what my cup. That would have been bad. Can't be crying over spilled coffee. Look 
at this. Mama has done put this meal together. Mama's showing. Okra. There's our corn. There's our peas. There's our okra. Mac, meatloaf. Mashed potatoes. There's the smasher. And here's a little dab of cream. There it is, folks. Delicious. Nutritious. Me loaf. I'll just cut it in the spatula. All right, mashed potatoes, meat, loaf, peas, oh, corn, and peas. Normally it's mashed potatoes and peas with meat loaf. Today we had the corn, mama wanted the okra, and we're just taking all the stops. But now we're not having any bread, any rolls, or anything like that. We're just keeping it to the simple. Look at this wonderful y'all sweet tea. I bet you made this this morning, didn't you? No. This is last night. Mm -hmm. Did it last it that long? Well, it was lateish. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Oops. All right. Tea's poured. Table set. Mm, noises is made. Ooh, mercy. How oh, wow, John. Coffee, tea. Okra. Yes, please. Look at this. She's trying to make up for begrudging me on the potatoes over there. She didn't want them to happen. She was begrudging them. You ever seen people begrudge? They're only sending a few potatoes. Does she look guilty? Do I look guilty? Does she look like she's even the least bit concerned? No, she's not. <laughs> you know why? Because she's totally and completely used to my foolishness at all times, aren't you, Mama? Mm -hmm. Mama used to get that meat loaf out of the plate. How about Duffy? Well, look, it's just hanging on the edge. You're filling that plate up. This is yours. I know, but that's too much. Well, I'll give you less corn. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason I fill the plate usually. Ah, you fill more than I do. Now, watch, let's see what she puts on hers. Let's see it. Let's see, Mom. <laughs> there won't be many green peas going there. I can guarantee you that. A dab of corn. Oh, she's trying to show off now. If it wasn't for me bringing the attention to it, then a half a spoon of peas, a half a spoon of corn, a little piece of meatloaf, she would have said, no. I, I want some potatoes on that one. Oh, she's got some You have plenty of potatoes, Mama. Somebody messy, made too many. Messy Marvin. Somebody made too many potatoes. Let's bless our meal. Oh, Mama, you're going to eat that corn and potatoes together. <laughs> Don't act that way. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it. Dear Lord, we ask for the nourishment of our bodies. And Dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with us in everything we do and say. Be with this world, dear Lord. Be with our leaders and be with our people, dear Lord, and all the needs out there. Dear Lord, we just pray for each and every prayer request that's been turned in, those spoken and unspoken. Pray for your healing and your kindness in every way, in your mercy and your grace. Amen. Okay, now this is a meal fit for a birthday. This is a meal that I would ask for for my birthday. 
What should we try first? Meatloaf, you say. Okay, meatloaf it is. Would y'all like the first bite? That is some good meatloaf. Mmm. Mm, too spicy? Not spicy. Enough. It's just perfect, Mama. It's tender. Now, don't be afraid of that microwave. I don't know that I would fix the meatloaf myself in the microwave if it didn't have this grill. Ooh. But it makes it just like it is in the oven, and it done it in 15 minutes. Putting the topping on it. It was done when I picked it. Oh yeah, it was way done. <laughs> In Fifteen minutes. You're you adding the the stuff on top it was just a little extra, but it was done in fifteen. Look at that beautiful okra. And y'all have sweet tea for the finish. Now, y'all's sweet tea is the name of the tea. This has no sugar. This is just plain tea. We love it. We love plain tea. I love it. Mama tolerates it. We've always done sweet tea. It's a southern thing. We love it, too. I either want tea sweet or unsweet. I don't want that. I'll cut back on the sugar business. You want it either sick and sweet. Or no, not say I want two cups of sugar per gallon or none. I don't want that. I put a cup in there instead of two. Mm -mm. That just ruins the whole thing. I want it plain tea or with sugar. Two cups don't make it sick and sweet. It just makes it extra sugar. So, Mama's living proof that you can learn to like it. And drink it without sugar. It's hard at times. But you do it. Yeah. And you say you like it. I like tea. Mm-hmm. Y'all sweet tea's a good tea. I talked to someone last night who just tried it. And they said, it's absolutely delicious. I said, I know. It really is. Folks, this is lunch. We don't have anything else. Mama, you have anything else to add? Happy yeah. birthday to somebody. Catherine, who are you talking to? Kathleen, who are you talking to? My mom looks mom looks beautiful today. Brenda, she does, don't she? Deborah, amen. I don't know what that was. Oh, you prayed with us. Thank you, Deborah. That's definitely Sunday after church lunch. It is, Lisa. Who had a birthday? Happy birthday to you from me and Mama, whoever was there in that. Yeah. I like plain tea, too. See them? It's delicious. Okra. Yes, Vicky. Good old okra. Love no sugar tea. Two cups of sugar. That's... That's pancake syrup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg, it ain't done it. Now, three cups is. But two cups for a gallon. That ain't too bad, really, Greg. But I just like it with none. So we, we can agree on that one. Maggie sounds like her nails need done. <laughs> Maggie needs done, that's for sure, Carolyn. But Maggie's nails, even when they're done, she still clunk, clunk, clunks because she limps. You hear those that hit, thud hitting that. She bounces. She bounces, Mama says. Why don't you sugar substitute, Paula? Mama don't like me to sugar substitutes, and I like it plain. And she's learning to like it plain, so instead of doing the substitute, we just skip it. Uh, God bless you all, me and me too. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Happy Sunday, Natalie. How are you? Have a great evening. You too. Folks, we're going to go enjoy our lunch. Yeah. I'm going to take Maggie out in between rains. I'm going to sit on the porch. Get in between them. I'm going to sit on the porch and let her go up there and roam around. Um, because it's not raining this spring unit, I don't think. This is just a slow drizzle. Uh, but as soon as I eat, I'm going to take her out and let her enjoy the little bit of time outside. And then, what are we going to do? Mama, nothing? Just enjoy Sunday evening? A day Sunday of evening. rest. A day of rest. Two days of rest. Unheard of. I'm enjoying it, though. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye, Mama. You wait, I'll get my mouth. Mommy, your mouth's always full. What am I supposed to do? Say, here, do you get through it? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. True. Y'all, she says it every time. You watch me fill it up, and you speak just as I put I it do before. not. 
<laughs> okay, is your mouth full now? No, it's <laughs> empty now. Say goodbye, Mom. <laughs> goodbye, Mom. God bless you. Bye-bye. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.